Grey Street, Brabazon, Dean Swift Square, Pimlico, Thomas Court, Brickfield Lane, Bond Street, Francis Street, Merchants Quay, R.D. Weaver Street, Basin View, Row Lane, Lamb Alley, Michaels Close, Chamber Street, Garden Lane, New Row South, Cork Street, Eckland Street. That's where St. James's is. St. James's Church, Eckland Street. St. Catherine's on Mead Street. The other St. Catherine's, Thomas Street. St. Nicholas and Myra, Francis Street. John's Lane Church, Thomas Street. The Liberty Church, R.D. Street. St. Auden's High Street. St. Luke's and the Coombe. The Church of the Immaculate Conception, Merchant's Quay. The Cathedral, Christ Church Place. The other cathedral, St. Patrick's Close. If you remember doing the seven churches, Anne was telling me about the seven churches. There'd be 10 of them, that's what she said. Everyone would come along, even the Protestant kids. They'd visit seven churches in one day. It was an Easter thing, I think, a Holy Thursday thing. No one goes to Mass anymore. Young people don't go. I had to laugh during COVID. The church, only 50 people allowed in. They told the old people to stay away to make room for the young people. Should they struggle to get to 50? I still go to Mass. I'm not one for the rosary now or anything, but my faith is important to me. Anne was a reader, a church reader, you know, prayers of the faithful, letters to the apostles, that sort of thing. Sat in the committee, done the summer project. The church is about community, that's what Anne said. It's about belonging. Anne's eldest lives in England, Cambridge. The youngest is over on the Navan Road, was in Inchicore, but on the Navan Road now, couldn't settle comes over for Mass to St. Catherine's. That's what happens here. People always come back. They go away, but they always come back. Like swifts or swallows, they all come back. That's how days turn into years. And the decades topple and fall. Once where platform shoes strutted the streets, now feather like Nikes pound the concrete. No Harkies anymore in Harkies house. Mm -hmm. It's being done up. Looks lovely. Airbnbs in the digital hub. It's all different, but it's all the same. A couple of years ago, a gay man playing Jesus on a makeshift cross. The papal flag alongside pride. He was new to the area. The gay man, Jesus, loves it here. Talks about the knowing. The knowing of your neighbours. That's Liam you're talking about, who played Jesus in The Passion. He lives next door to me in number two. The odd numbers are across the street. He lives with his partner, Dennis. They're great neighbours. They're very good to me. Would you believe they drop me in a Sunday dinner every week? Liam says it's all about the knowing. Everyone knowing everyone. That familiarity. I've lived here all my life. Baptised, confessed, communed, confirmed in St. Catherine's. Married there too. And there's where I'll be mourned. When it's me time. I'm not afraid. The layers of the city are all around us. And the mountains look on. The scalp, Glen Cullen, Three Rock, Tibradden. Still, silent. Marking time, acknowledging births and arrivals and upheavals and deaths. And in the air hover birds of prey. They watch the living and guide the dead as they walk this shadow land of spectral streets and dusky lanes, seeking rest from the memories of those still living. I look left. I look right, I see mountains, a constant, a comfort, so sure. They stand, they have always been there, silent. They stand, they have always been there, silent. In spring, summer, winter, or fall, there will always be frost on the mountains. They stand, they have always been there, silent. They stand, they have always been there, 
silent. They stand, they have always been there, silent. They stand, they have always been there, silent.